Hi, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm at the University of Ottawa with the Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. In this particular video, I'm going to show you a specific example of very unusual jet stream behavior in the Arctic. Um, so the date here is about Feb is February 4th, 2014. So what you can see is there's Greenland here, Canada, North America is down here, the Canadian Arctic Arctic Archipelago here. Um, this is the um, Bering Strait is right through here. And what you can see is all of this jet stream behavior up here, which is bringing warm air over to the Arctic. So the Arctic was very warm um, at this particular time. And what I'm going to show you is the development of a ridge here and how the ridge then breaks off into a loop which then moves through the Arctic and then dissipates. It's very interesting, I thought very unusual behavior, so I'm gonna show it to you here in more detail. I just shut off the lights to give you more contrast. And what I will do is I will cycle through three hour increments here and you can just watch and see how the uh, see how the jet streams change. So we're going to be looking at this ridge here and how that develops and changes. So it's pushing further north. Again, I'm stepping forward with three hour increments. I'm looking at the 250 millibar pressure level, which is the jet streams. Okay, so you can see this loop here. And watch what happens as it progresses here. So it moves further into the Arctic and the right hand side or the lower side starts to weaken and then eventually get pinched off. There it is, it's starting to get pinched off here and then see what, watch what happens. More pinched off, almost completely separated now, and then it moves over and it joins the inflow stream. So we get this almost complete loop here. Okay, now I'll continue to advance it by three hours and you can see this starts to weaken and this whole thing breaks off. Okay, so now essentially we have almost a completely separate loop here. And I'll continue to advance and let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's starting to develop these bands, different bands here. as it covers a large portion of the Arctic Ocean. And it, it persists over 
over several days. So the energy in that loop has now spread out over a much wider area um, and you know form there's sub loops forming and things. I just thought that this was um, very interesting behavior. And then we're pretty much past. So, and you can see these these flows across the Arctic. So, so what's happening? So, so one can actually go back to 2014 at this particular time and look at the movement of the of the sea ice and see how it relates to this particular loop. Um, I haven't done that myself for this video, but um, anybody can can Google Arctic sea ice graphs. Go back and look at the data, the U.S. Navy data on how the ice is moving in the Arctic Ocean Basin. Um, and you, I'm sure that you'll be able to relate it to, to what I've just shown you this particular loop. Okay, thank you.